I'm a child of the 50s. Drive-ins, car hops, Fats and Domino on the jukebox, and Coca-Cola. So I found something that takes me back to that time. Today I'm showing off my Lee Country 80 quart Coca-Cola cooler. Now they have different versions of these rolling coolers. 60 quart coolers are also available. This is Coca-Cola branded and officially licensed. And yes, you do pay more for those logos. The first thing I want to mention is that the 80 quart red comes with or without the tray. Now the interesting thing about this on Amazon is that the cooler with the tray is the cheapest. It appears to me that they're one and the same, so I would suggest that you could order the one with the tray and then just not install it if that's your preference. Now that being said, I'm talking about how it's priced when I bought mine in May of 2023. It works out to a price difference of about $37. I don't understand it, but it costs more not to get the tray. As you can see, I went with the red. This is a double insulated poly cooler that's still wrapped. Now this thing is easy to move around on its four casters. Two of those casters are locking casters. It's got handles on each side that are large enough to double as towel rack. It comes with a metal drain plug in the back. And of course, it's equipped with a Coca-Cola bottle opener, and there's also a detachable cap catcher. The lid not only folds on each side, but it's also removable. Now, I found almost everything on the outside is magnetic. The drain plug must be stainless steel because it's not magnetic, and the wheels are made of plastic, and the bottle opener is definitely metal, but it also is non-magnetic, so it appears to be die-cast. Like I mentioned before, I got the version with the graded tray. I believe the tray makes it much more sturdy. I also purchased a cover, sold separately, and I would love to have bought a cover with the logo on it, but they don't seem to make one at this time. I wound up purchasing the Patio Watcher Cooler Cover. This is an all-weather cover, and as you can see, it's a perfect size, and it's made with 600D Oxford fabric. The black was out of stock, so I went with the gray. Now my cooler arrived in pristine condition. It looks better than I even hoped for. The finish is great and it has that vintage look. It's as much a showpiece as it is functional. And yes, I love it. Now let's find out something I'm not really sure about. So I'm gonna be adding 10 gallons of ice to the cooler and I'll check it in 24 hours to see how the ice is doing. This cooler's in my outdoor kitchen. It's got a cover on top. It's got partial walls on three sides. Okay, it's been 24 hours since I added the ice, so let's see what we got. For the record, it's the end of May, and I am in Texas, and we had a high yesterday of 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that's very moderate for around here. It appears that we got about half the ice still in there. I'm gonna cover it up. We'll go for another 24 hours and see what happens. Okay, we're at the end of the second day. It's been exactly 48 hours. Yesterday's high was 88 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna check the water temperature with my thermopin, and of course it's 33 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm guesstimating that we got between 15 and 20% of the ice left. So under good conditions, that ice can last 48 hours plus. Your mileage may vary. Ambient temperature, shade, the quality of the ice, how many times you open and close that cooler, that's all variables that affect the performance. Now let's check out draining the cooler. Now it's not possible to completely drain the cooler with the drain plug in the sides. You do have to dump it out. It is true that I knew about this before I bought the cooler, but I did buy it, so I'm gonna gripe about it. It's a rolling cooler. The drain belongs on the bottom. Every time you have to dump it out, there's a chance you're gonna scratch this beauty up. I'm sure that putting the drain plug in the bottom would require some manufacturing and maybe some packaging changes, but they can do better. It's an officially licensed Coca-Cola product. Coca-Cola can do better. I'm sure with the water inside that you'll be dumping, you're dealing with 40 plus pounds. And everyone may not be up to that task. Nevertheless, the bottom line is that this is a very functional, gorgeous cooler. I got mine, maybe you'll get yours too. And I hope yours comes with the drain at the bottom. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. <laughs>